After listening to your feedback, we wanted to make a short video to help make it easier to apply for a job with UTA. Here are some things to be aware of before starting your application. First, have your resume or work history readily available to upload or enter into the system. Once your application is submitted, it cannot be revised, so please make sure you have answered everything thoroughly and have included all relevant information before submitting your application. If information is missing in your application, it may not be considered. When it comes time to enter your employment history, you will need to account for the past 10 years, whether you were employed, unemployed, a student, volunteering, or whatever the case may be. Please complete all fields and attach any supporting documents, such as certifications, transcripts, or letters of recommendation that you want to include. From UTA's website, click on Learn More under the UTA Careers link to view open positions or learn about the many benefits of working for UTA. From here, you can view UTA's benefits, learn about driving a bus, or view all current openings. Click on Learn More under the Current Openings link to view all open positions. If you are a current UTA employee, click on the orange button to view open positions and apply. If you are not a current UTA employee, click on the job title for the position you are interested in to view the job description. From here you can refer the job to a friend via email or share it on Facebook and LinkedIn. To start your application, click the orange Apply Now button in the upper left hand corner. If you have applied for a position with us previously, you will need to enter the email address and password that you previously used. If you are a new applicant, you will need to click Create a New Profile. It is helpful if you have your resume or work history readily available while applying, as applications cannot be revised after they are submitted. You can save your application and return to complete it later, but many applicants forget to complete it before the job closing date and therefore cannot be considered. Please ensure you answer all questions completely or your application may not be considered. After answering all of the questions, click Submit or Next at the bottom of each page to proceed. As you progress through the application, the status bar at the top of the page will change from gray to green, indicating which sections have been completed. On this page, you can choose to upload a resume, apply using your LinkedIn profile, copy and paste your resume, or select No Resume. If you choose not to use a resume, you will need to manually type in your complete 10-year employment history on the next page. You can also add a cover letter or other documents such as certifications, transcripts, or letters of recommendation. Please note, if you choose not to include a cover letter or other documents, and then later decide to include it and go back to this page to add it, you may lose the employment information or answers you entered on any of the application pages. Please add valid contact information so we can contact you. When adding your work experience, you will need to account for the past 10 years, including gaps in employment. For example, gaps may include time spent unemployed, volunteer service, attending school, or otherwise. Ensure you mark the checkbox at the bottom of the page or you will not be able to move forward or backward in the application. All fields of the employment history must be complete in order to be considered. Please ensure all fields are completed and any gaps in employment are accounted for. Enter NA for fields that do not apply. Incomplete entries may not be considered. When entering your employment history and education, please verify all fields have been completed, including reason for leaving and start end dates. If you uploaded a resume or applied through LinkedIn, the system will have pulled most but not all of this information from your resume or profile. You will need to verify all fields, including start and end dates, and reason for leaving. When all of your information is complete, you will want to ensure the box at the bottom is checked before proceeding. After you have entered your education and employment histories, you will see this reminder. If any of the fields were left blank, please click the Back button to complete them. If you are certain everything is complete, click Next. On the next couple of pages, you will be asked some equal employment opportunity questions regarding disability, race, and gender. UTA is required to ask these questions, but you are not required to answer them. After the equal employment opportunity questions, you will see an application disclaimer. Please read the disclaimer and then select Yes to proceed to the last page of the application. On the last page, you will need to click on the Submit Application button in order for your application to be complete. Please ensure you answer all questions and complete your employment history before submitting your application. Once your application has been submitted, it cannot be edited or revised in any way. 
After your application is submitted, you will receive an automatic email confirmation. Immediately after submitting your application, you will be taken to a page confirming your application is complete. If the application is incomplete, you will see a status bar indicating the percentage that has been completed. The review status will show one of three statuses. One, submitted, meaning your application is new and has not been reviewed. Two, in review, meaning your application is currently being reviewed. Or three, closed, meaning your application is no longer under consideration, in which case you would have been sent an automated email informing you of this status. If after applying you decide you are no longer interested in the position for any reason, you can withdraw your application at any time. However, please know that if you do withdraw your application, you will not be able to reapply for that specific position until it is reposted at a later time. After your application has been submitted, you should hear back from our recruiters within two weeks of the job closing date. Thank you for watching. We hope this makes the process easier and hope to be working with you soon.